Linux and Steam Deck fans, hello again, it's Liam here, because not only have Valve today done a new release of Proton Experimental that I only just did a video on, they have also updated the stable version of Proton. Proton 7.0-3 is now available. It will come down in your Steam library as an update like anything else. Proton, for those unaware, is the compatibility layer that runs Windows games on Steam Deck and Linux, as in Linux desktops, laptops, whatever. With Proton 7.0-3, you will now find that these are playable, including Age of Chivalry, Beneath a Steel Sky, Chrono Cross the Radical Dreamer Edition, Cities XXL, Claydon X2, Cursed Armor, Flanarian Tactics, Fl Flanarian, something like that, Gary Grigsby's War in the East, Gary Grigsby's War in the West, Irrigon Prologue, MechWarrior Online, Small Radios, Big Televisions, Split Second, Star Wars Episode 1 Racer, Stranger of Sword City Revisited, Succubus X Saint, V Rising, Warhammer End Times Vermintide, and we were here forever. There's a lot of other updates in this and just general fixing, like video playback is fixed for titles like Disintegration, Dread X Collection, The Hunt, Ember Knights, Outward Definitive Edition, Postal 4, No Regrets, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, Solaster, Crown of the Magister, Street Fighter V, The Room 4 Old Sins, Ghostwire Tokyo, and other games using VPA and VP9 codecs. You will also find that there is improved text rendering in the Rockstar Launcher, improvements to steering wheel detection, also support for X-Input controller reordering, specifically on the Steam Deck, improvements to the performance in Street Fighter V during online matches, improvements to Sekiro Shadows Die Twice in certain areas, and the list just goes on. This is an absolutely huge update to Proton, and it just keeps showing Valve's commitment to making Linux a gaming platform with SteamOS and the Steam Deck. As I mentioned, you won't have to do anything special for this. It will come down in your Steam library as an update for Proton 7. Just update it like you would any other game or software in your Steam library. Once again, do let me know in the comments if there is a specific game that you are waiting to play, whether that's on Steam Deck or a Linux desktop, and let me know what you think of Proton 7.0-3. That's it for the quick update, just letting you know it is out there. See you again in the next video.